Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome to our beginners video series. If you are new to iPhone and iPad, then in this episode, we are going to see about how to check subscriptions on iPhone. The same steps are applicable for the iPad. So if you have got a new iPad and you know, you need to check for what are the available subscriptions and any expired subscriptions, then you can follow these steps. Navigate inside the settings application. Right now I'm using iOS 18, which is going to be the upcoming iOS version, expecting the official release by the end of September 2024. So the steps are going to be very similar with the earlier iOS versions if you are using iPhone or iPad with iOS 17 or iOS 16 version. So the very first thing is inside the settings app, navigate inside your profile section that first one with the photo and the name is your profile section and here you can see the subscriptions and in this section you can see the available subscriptions that are active and the expired subscriptions as well which mentioned as inactive if you want to renew you can navigate inside that subscription and you can tap on the renew button and pay the subscription fee or you can you know use your credit card or add that fund balance to your apple id and the debit will automatically happen if you're using the family sharing you need to get authorization from your family owner so that will let you to complete the renewal process of a particular subscription and if you want to cancel any subscription that you no longer want to continue you need to navigate inside that active subscription section and then click on the cancel subscription once the confirmation is done the subscription will be cancelled and you know the rest of the validity you will be able to use it like for example if it is a monthly subscription say like if it is apple music subscription then if I'm canceling it five days before the subscription is going to renew then for the rest of the five days I will be able to you still use the Apple Music application. I can stream music and I can download music and everything within my iOS device. After that five days, the renewal won't happen automatically if I clicked on cancel subscription in this page. After the five days, it'll automatically move to the inactive subscription and it'll ask me to renew it in order to use the Apple Music content continuously. It don't have to be just the five days. Even after subscribing for any application or a content, you can cancel it just to days after and you can you know you will be able to use the rest of the subscription without any issues and uh, you know the renewal when the date renewal date comes up it won't renew so if you canceled it here and if any applications allow the sharing of that features the application features and services with your family and you have a family sharing account then you need to select this toggle here so that the content eligible and the developers if they have the family sharing feature enabled then those contents will be shared otherwise individual devices have to purchase the subscription to use that service of a specific application and the important thing is how to get a refund for some reason if you are you know checking the subscription details for claiming a refund then you need to follow the steps i have suggested in how to request a refund for apps purchase in our separate shorts video i'll leave a link to that in the description and in the first comment or you can search in youtube application directly to locate that video daily touch space refund you know it'll immediately pop up in the front and that is one more problem i have recently covered about apple services debiting your you know apple id or credit card or debit card uh, with automatic payments setup so you can check that video if there is any surprise automatic debit happens and that claims to be from apple services so you can check your details of app purchases and you know subscriptions and you can cancel and claim for refund using those methods i have explained in that video i'll leave a link to this video also in the first comment i'll pin that comment for you to quickly access it so that is all i hope this video about how to check subscriptions on iphone or how to see subscriptions on iphone and ipad helped you to understand everything about the subscriptions that works on your device thank you so much for watching for more don't forget to subscribe and if you find this video useful you may spread a word about it on social media thank you and have a wonderful day